Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. I'm opening a box today. So we've got a first look at this uh, Smith & Wesson MP uh, 1522 Performance Centre Sport. So I'm keen to know how this differs from the standard 1522, many of which I've shot before. And we're gonna have a little first look at it. So pop it out of the box. What else have we got in the box? We have got, oh, I think that's a sight adjustment tool there. We've got some M-lock bits for Picatinny rail there. That's the magazine, we'll take that out. We've also got an action locking mechanism there, as well as an instruction book. So let's just get that out of the way. Now these are super reliable rifles. They have got um, supplied, I call them iron sights, but actually polymer. They pop up, that little tool has to adjust the elevation and windage on those. And of course this is a semi-automatic 22 rimfire. So if I just pull the cocking handle back there and we can take the breech plug out of it. Now that's got a 10 round magazine with it, pops in there. And the main difference with this one is it's got a heavier, longer barrel with fluting on it. It's still threaded for a moderator and it's got a different version of the stock at the rear end as well. So we'll be covering all this in a main full review. We've got QD sling stud locks there as well, which I quite like. We'll cover this in a full review at some point, but I'm going to be shooting this. I'll probably shoot it with the irons. I'll pop a, I've got a one to eight sight to put on it as well, which will be perfect for this kind of uh, this kind of usage. Just looking at the basic controls, we've got the bolt release on here, which will drop that forward, so we'll lock that back down like that. In fact, that appears it's got automatic last round hold open from the magazine. The magazine release is there. We can drop the pins out, push the pins out, the action folds open, we can clean it inside. T-handle cocking on the back, which obviously won't drop forward when the magazine is in position, because it's a bolt lock forward. That will do, do that, and then Bosh, 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 we've got multiple rapid fire semi auto activity. Rubber recoil pad on the back, that's more for grip than recoil absorption because it's not obviously a heavy recoiling rifle. And these are amazing fun to shoot because I've not got a particularly good background there to put the iron sights onto, but I've got a nice, I've got a nice round circle with a post in the front so I can aim that directly and shoot. So I might put a moderator on this, I might leave it bare as it is. Let me just pop that off and have a look at the thread. That looks like a half inch fine pitch thread. I think we've got a moderator for one of those. And of course, with it being a longer barrel, you can fit a slightly longer moderator on it if it's a reflex design. So, you know, stick with me, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, and we're gonna do some shooting with this over the coming weeks. Um, and there we go, have a nice Saturday. It's beautiful weather in England at the moment. So, uh, thanks for watching, bye for now.